One week prior to this photo being taken, I told my husband I would like to get a pop-up camper. Look at this beauty that we found. She fit our budget because we had no budget because we didn't know we were buying one. Please take a look at all this glory. The floral valance and the dark wood laminate cabinets to the, oh gosh, I don't know, that rad dinette set. Did you notice that? Yep, she's a beauty too. The first thing we were going to need to do was remove all the curtains and save the little plastic hangers that came with them. Then we were going to take that strip of plastic and we were going to stitch them on new material to give it a huge jump into the new century. That is my mom, she is awesome. She came into town just in time to help me sew all these curtains and by help I mean she did it and I watched. We then took the seats and reattached new fabric to it using a brad nailer as well as some fabric adhesive and that worked out really well for this project. We basically just folded the fabric like it was a big present and stapled it along the edges until it was completely covered. I didn't take a lot of photos of the painting, but here you can see I had started painted the ceiling. You can see the difference in color. And then for the cabinets, I used a Valspar bonding primer, and then I followed that up with a bare semi-gloss ultra pure white paint. Next up was flooring. This I was very excited about. I chose a waterproof lock-in laminate, and I left an eighth inch gap on all the edges around the perimeter for movement and then I used a gray caulking to fill that in. Next I chose to cover all the countertops with a roll of marble looked contact paper. I was skeptical if this would hold up or not but it worked amazingly. I'm very pleased with the results and I actually decided to use it on the wood part of my door as well. Then I painted chalkboard paint above that so we could play tic-tac-toe while we're out camping. Next up was time to decorate. I decided to make a pennant for the back wall of the bedrooms and I used three different fabrics. You cut them with the pinking shears and then use the base tape to sew them together. And by I, I mean my mom. She was definitely the rock star when it came to the sewing part of this project. Then it was time to put my Cricut to work. I made this stencil for the fridge and I really like the way that it turned out. I also decided to make some stencils to paint some signs below the beds. Here is the one that goes by our bed and so our adventure begins. And then I made one for the side where the boys will sleep. It says I haven't been everywhere but it's on my list. I definitely plan to make a lot of trips with this camper. And what camper wouldn't be complete with a little place to put your trailer trash? Now it's time to share the final pop-up camper renovation photos. This project took us two weeks to complete and I cannot wait to get this baby on the road. My initial plans with this pop-up camper was to use the black and white buffalo plaid and go with that color scheme. But when I put it on my Facebook group, everyone wanted me to use the blue jewel tone as well as gray and then the gray weathered floor. I am so glad that I went with what everyone was saying to do instead of going with the color that I had in mind. I really love this blue and I was so pleased to be able to find blankets and plastic plates that would go with this theme. In the spring, I plan on updating the exterior. It could use a fresh paint job. In the meantime, we are just going to enjoy it the way it is and get through the winter and then start fresh in the spring. Here are again the side-by-sides of the before and after to remind you of how dated it looked before and how fresh a coat of paint, new floor, new curtains, everything made this look. Like I said, this took us two weeks. My mom and I worked tirelessly to get this done and I am so blessed to have had her help because it would have taken me two years to get this much work done. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like. And if you would like to see other crazy things that I decided to do last minute, go ahead and subscribe.